Hello there and welcome back again to thedrinker.co.uk. I'm Pete Turner and in this series of films we're looking at wines that are available in the UK in the winter of 2021 going into the spring of 2022. And in this little film we're looking at the wines that are available at Waitrose. Um, if you go to thedrinker.co.uk you can see all of my recommendations from the whole of the Waitrose range and all of the other supermarkets. Um, but in this film and in all of the films we're concentrating on the wines which are priced up to £10. So um, a lot of people think Waitrose is a very affordable, elite sort of supermarket. It's not really. All of these are less than, than £10. And if you put the, 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 the price of all of these together, that's two reds, two whites, a rosé and a fizz, comes to less than £48. So that's actually not a bad little selection uh, for Christmas, for house parties, um, for going into the spring. So we're going to kick off with, and this is um, one of those uh, sessions which is going to test my pronunciation. So this is Heredad del Rey. Heredad del Rey? Heredad del Rey? Comes from Spain. It's six ninety nine a bottle. It is a combination of Monastrell and Syrah in the grape varieties. So what I say, six ninety nine. And it's a lovely, expressive, um, uh, um, oaky, earthy wine. So it comes from southern Spain. So if you think of where Spain is, it's sort of uh, inland from Benidorm. So southern, southeastern Spain. So yeah, black uh, cherry, plum. There's a little bit of sort of um, damson in there. Yeah, and the oak comes forward, but that's a really lovely supporting role that the oak plays, um, backing up the fruit. Some good tannins to it. I'd say this is really good with a cheese board. It's, it's medium bodied, but there's enough about it that would really work well with a good strong cheddar. Lovely wine, 6 99 well done. Okay, <coughs> so next up, Marcelin. Again, pronunciation, Marcelin. I can't think of any other way to say it. It comes from their loved and found range. It's six ninety nine. Marcelin is a new grape variety to me. So whereas this was a blend of two grape varieties, Marcelin is a cross of two grape varieties. I've got it written down here. It's Grenache and Cabernet Sauvignon. So this comes from their loved and found range. Loved and found, I think, for Waitrose are the wines that are sort of taking you off the beaten track. Uh, giving you great varieties that you're not you, used to, um, taking you to areas that you, you've never drunk wine from before. So again, on the nose, we're getting some quite strong spice. This is quite a punchy wine. It's 6 99 and it is 15% in alcohol. So it's a proper winter wine. And yeah, it's quite spicy. Um, it's quite fruity. It's forward. It's punchy. And it's big and expressive and I wouldn't go as far as saying jammy, but it's it's got some good tannins, a real good structure and rigid structure to it. And it hangs the fruit on it, it hangs the acidity on it, it hangs the oak on it, it's spicy, it's warming, it's everything you want at six ninety nine for a lovely winter's wine. Beautiful. Work well with food, work well on its own. Super wine. Well done. So next up, again from the loved and found range. This one's seven ninety nine. Test of my pronunciation: Roero Arnais. Roero Arnais. It comes from Piedmont in northern Italy, and there are going to be Italian people throwing things at me. Roero Arnais. I'm going with seven ninety nine. It's a lovely uh, looking wine. I've, again, a new grape variety to me, and um, and yeah, it's got a lovely sort of a very sort of hedgerow blossom kind of nose to it. Yeah, like walking through an orchard in the springtime. Yeah, and it's oh, it's much bigger on the on the mouth. It's it's fuller bodied, uh, peach and pear, um, and it's expressive. What do I say? Seven ninety nine, super wine at that. Rero Arnais. If you can if you can pronounce it, go and buy it. Super wine. Well done, waitress. Okay, so next up, the search. This is from uh, South Africa. Uh, it's seven ninety nine a bottle. It's a combination of Grenache Blanc. Marsan and Roussan, these sort of tr uh, traditional sort of um, southern France grape varieties, and it's immediately got sort of quite a quite an austere sort of mineral kind of almost shabbly kind of nose, but there is something in the background, and it's like li lemon peel, something like that, lemon pith maybe. Oh, 
Oh, again, it's more expressive. There's some floral elements to it. It's sort of white talcum powder and and white flowers, white roses. It's a it's a lovely wine. What did I say? It was seven ninety nine. It's a classy looking bottle from South Africa. Make a great party wine. Good stuff. Okay, so we're on to the pinks now. Again from South Africa. Love the bottle. Porcupine Ridge, eight forty nine a bottle, and. I selected this, it's a little bit controversial because it's got a tiny bit of sweetness to it. And that's that's not very fashionable right now. It's obviously it's red berries. It's um there is something citrusy in there, some lovely, some lovely sort of grapefruit peel to it. And it opens up to strawberries. And that sweetness, you don't you don't find it intrusive in any way. It's got high acidity and it's got a little bit of sweetness to sort of balance it out. It's mouth-watering now. Strawberries, um, perfume, a little bit of perfume, red currant, raspberry, lovely complex wine. And it, it's only that sweetness that really elevates and really brings those flavours out. Do try it. I know we've sort of conditioned ourselves to not like anything with any kind of sweetness in. Do try that wine. It's lovely. 849 Porcupine, which you can't miss the bottle. Super, super stuff. And then last up, San Leo Prosecco, 9.99. Bit expensive for Prosecco, but probably worth every penny. I've recommended in the past the rosé version of this. Really good stuff. So here it is. And it's got peach and lime. And yeah, it's a white stone fruit to it. It's a really elegant fizz. It's really round in the mouth. There's a lot to like about it. The, the fizz, I opened this some time ago, it's still very fizzy. I like that persistence. It's, it's perfect, it's a perfect party wine, albeit at 9.99. So there we go. So there's your range from Waitrose. Get yourself down there. Um, get yourself onto the drinker.co.uk. You can see all of my recommendations from Waitrose and all of the other supermarkets at all of the price ranges. And I would uh, give us a subscribe, give me a like, and uh, I will see you very soon now. Cheers.